Have you ever wondered how something as simple as your blood type can profoundly impact your pregnancy and your baby's health? What if I told you that a mismatch between your blood and your baby's could pose a potential risk to your baby? Today's video unravels the secrets behind the rhesus incompatibility between a mother and her unborn baby. The story of rhesus disease begins with blood. There are four major blood groups, A, B, AB, and O, but they can be further differentiated by the Arhesus factor, RH in short. Most people have a protein called the Arhesus factor on their red blood cells, making them RH positive. However, a small percentage of people lack this protein, making them RH negative. Mixing these two blood groups can be dangerous, especially when a rhesus negative woman becomes pregnant with a rhesus positive baby. This happens when a rhesus positive man impregnates the woman and the baby inherits the father's blood group. Suppose the baby's red blood cells enter the mother's bloodstream. In that case, her immune system will consider them foreign and create antibodies to destroy them. These antibodies can also attack the fetus and cause serious complications, such as eliminating the baby's red blood cells, permanent brain damage, and even death. This immune reaction begins during the first pregnancy but is only completed after birth. That's why firstborn babies are usually spared from rhesus disease, as they're already born when the mother's immune system has time to react. However, all future rhesus-positive babies are at risk of getting rhesus disease. In the past, RH disease was a significant cause of death for babies born to RH-negative mothers. However, developing rhesus immunoglobulin injections has eradicated RH disease in developed countries. This injection is given to women before and after delivery. It provides an antibody dose that mops the baby's red blood cells in the mother before her immune system identifies them as foreign and produces antibodies against the baby's red blood cells. It's as though these antibodies help mask the fetus's red blood cells, making them invisible to the mother's immune system. This injection works better if given within the first 72 hours of delivery. That's all for today. RH disease shows us how tiny details like blue type can significantly impact pregnancy. Stay curious, stay informed, and thank you for watching.